It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting the night Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i thought i would pick up the camera and vlog today it is a week before halloween or actually no it's about 10 days is it two weeks oh, whatever it is ahead of halloween and i've seen that a few people start decorating their porches along the street and i thought it was about time that we popped out a few little halloween bits i know i've kind of already decorated for autumn but i've got a few extra kind of halloweeny themed things that um i want to get out from storage to pop out so i thought we could do that together today we're also having a very wholesome start to the week what we like to call our sunday monday and taking things a bit slower today tom is working from home he's just on a call upstairs i have taken the dog for a nice walk i've got back i need to make the bed i've just started putting on a little bit of light makeup but actually i've just realized looking at the viewfinder especially i popped on some tanning drops i used to tan lux the face which i do love and have loved for a long time but i think i popped one too many drops in so just try and even out a little bit of the uh the bronzed look that I've got this morning. It's just kind of stuck around here, this area, and along my hairline. And I definitely need to wear my hair up today. So yeah, it's kind of just stuck there a little bit. Oh well, not to worry. It will uh, even out over the next couple of days. I had a bit of a top up as well. I went to go and see Dr. Ahmed for, I know a lot of you say, you don't need anything. <laughs> I know I don't need any aesthetics treatment. Nobody needs aesthetics treatment. But I have been having a little, like, tiny, tiny amounts here and there over the last few years. I mean, to be honest with you, since I turned 30, that's when I first had a little bit of anti-wrinkle. And I've had it done twice since then. And I'm 32. So this is my third time. And I just really like, I like how my makeup sits better. So it hasn't fully worn in yet obviously still got movement but i do have it higher up so that i still have the movement anyway you can still see frown a little bit so yeah it takes a couple of weeks to set in and um had a little bit of my smell lines filled as well because i i used to get quite deep um quite deep lines here again makeup would set in them so it just helps even them out a little bit and that that's everything that's you know i don't i haven't had lip filler for Gosh, donkey shoes. I think before I met Tom was when I first had lip filler and then I had it done once a couple of years after that. So eight years ago, I think I had filler on my lips. So I don't get that anymore. Um, never say never, but I don't, I, I'm happy with my lips as they are. They're fine. Um, and yeah, so that's all I get done. Not masses. He's based in, well, the one I go to is in Wilmsley, but he's also got a, uh, clinic in london and in leeds so if you're interested in local to any of those areas the place i go is dr ahmed he's the aesthetics doctor on instagram he's got quite a big kind of platform on there so he does lots of uploading so if you want to see more he does like skin he's a gp as well so he can uh, he can refer like skin treatments. You can see more on my Instagram. I talk more about it over on there in terms of what I've had done and I've highlighted so that you can refer back to it. Um, and if you're not interested in that kind of thing, then let's move on. <laughs> I am just using my brow pencil from Benefit. This is in the shade 2.5. I'm just kind of lightly filling in. I, like I said, because we're having a just a chill day at home, I'm only going with a bit of light makeup today. Is anyone watching Big Brother? It's just never as good as it used to be. I used to, like I'm talking the good old classic days of Josie Gibson. Even before then, even earlier than then, I just remember really loving big brother i think the more kind of silly tasks they do the less it kind of 
is what it once was. And I always thought when ITV were bringing it back, they said they were gonna be doing it with less of that kind of stuff. But I don't know, maybe maybe I'm the anomaly. <laughs> An anomaly. Maybe I'm the one that isn't a fan of those kind of bits of Big Brother. I like just the voyeuristic, watching strangers get to know each other. Um, but anyway, I'm still watching it. I'm still watching it. And still enjoying it also there's a new traitors new zealand which i've been watching because i think they're bringing back the uk version aren't they but they're doing it as a celebrity version i think which i never think again is as good that's what they seem to have done on the us version in the new zealand and australian version whereby they've um maybe not the australian i can't remember but especially the us version they all seem to be like they know each other already and you think it kind of takes away from the element of really not knowing if someone is a traitor or not because if you know someone in real world like in real life outside of the game show i feel like you would have a good idea as to whether or not they're lying or at least a better idea than if they were a complete stranger and you just don't know what they're like pop a bit of well lip liner on i think i might head over to cheshire oaks this week and do a bit of a vlog Maybe even a little bit of Christmas shopping. I've obviously got my gift guides coming up, which I'm very excited to film. I'll probably be filming them within the next week or so. Yeah, I might pop over to that way. Pop over to the Neptune over there, the Inspirations Wholesalers and uh, Cheshire Oaks for a little bit of shopping. Do you guys want to see a vlog? Much more mascara. I popped a flick on earlier, but I'll just add a bit more. I think I want to get a new mascara. I'm on the hunt. I just love the classic. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the Chocolate Brown, which I do quite like having a chocolate brown, brown mascara. But um, <clears throat> I like the classic Lancome Hypnose. That's one that I always recommend and go back to. I love this, but my only sort of negative I would have with it is because the brush is quite thick, I feel like for my lower lashes, I find it quite hard to apply and I end up sometimes, it ends up going underneath, which is a bit of a pain. And a spritz of Morphe setting spray. I love the continual mist of this, which feels lovely. Right, I think I can hear Tom's finish this call. Let's head downstairs, let's go find out what kind of Halloween-y bits we've got to pop out. I am gonna change the wreath on the front door as well because we've still got that swag. I'll show you when we go down, but it it's it doesn't fit on the front door. We either have to put it somewhere else, or I, I think I might actually donate it because I did want it for the front door, but the door pull is right in the way. I'll show you what I mean when we when we go down. A little spritz of perfume today before I make the bed, and I'm gonna go in with my favourite for this time of year, all-time favourite anyway, but for this time of year especially, replica by the fireplace try to not use too much of this because I just love it so much. Right, let's make the bed. Okay, here we have a few bits that I have brought out. So firstly, how cute are these little ghost um, kind of like candle holders? I popped them there, just kind of sat on this um, this bureau. And I actually really like them there, so I think I might leave them. But I also have this guy to now pop out. I could have even, I suppose, popped it out earlier and had it that way round. But now that it is obviously approaching Halloween, we've got the little scary face out. I got this from Home Sense, but it's a Pottery Barn dupe. If you've seen, they have a load of these kind of terracotta pumpkins. I'll try and get the label out, see how much I paid for this. It was $7.99. We also have this gorgeous set of books that I picked up from Asda the other day. These are from 
Stacey Solomon's new range and they're like her linen cover really really nice and well I'll show you let me sit down you like unbox them excuse all the mess in the back as well I've got a load of stuff that I need to take to the charity shop as well as the Dunelm bags now these I haven't taken them back yet because the date on them to take back is end of November and after I've filmed my gift guides, I might be adding some more bits into them. So that's why I've just kind of kept them here for now. These are great because they're actually storage boxes. They're not books. So you could pop them on your coffee table and have them as little boxes to pop your remotes in. So we've got brews and potions. Again, let me come a bit closer so you can see it's a linen cover. Really, really nice. Like if I was creating a kind of like Halloween-y autumn range with Asda, I would have done something like this as well. I just think Stacey and I must just have very similar tastes because everything she brings out, I seem to love. So there's that one. There's also this second one, which is a bit more Halloween-y, adds a bit of black in there with Book of Spells. And then lastly, this one's a little thinner. Are the other two the same size? I think they're actually, yeah, they're a small, medium and a large in terms of size. And then this one is just a little hocus pocus. We have this to pop out, which was from Matalan last year. So that's what I'm gonna pop on the front door because we've got some white pumpkins on the floor from the pumpkin patch, which you saw in my last vlog. I will pop that wreath on the front door and replace it with the swag that doesn't really fit properly. Um, I've also got these, which are gonna be going out more on Halloween. I'm gonna pop these actually, if it's dry weather, some little LED, uh, flameless candles that we can have kind of along the drive. I also have this really randomly, but I'm going to pop that in my car from Dunelm, the pumpkin air freshener. And I also have this guy, this cute little ghost. I have got Gary the ghost from uh, Home Bargains, and this could go on the sofa. Again, another pottery barn dupe. <gasps> Gary the ghost. How cute is he? Just a little cushion that sits on the sofa. I've got another candle to bring out. I'm going to light all the candles tonight and try and get through them so that I can start burning this one. This one is, oh, it's just a classic. This one's from Bath and Body Works and it's in the scent leaves. It's just a really nice earthy, woody. It's golden nectar, red apple. Yeah, very apple, cinnamon, clove, spice. <coughs> Lovely. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this little paper garland that says spooky on it. That was from Hobbycraft. Got a little... A little toy for Mr. Mr. Sleepyhead down here. Classic bats are back. I loved popping these at the, like, oh no, they dropped out. They're these little paper bats that you can pop. I, uh, the walls in here are black. A lot of people do it out of the fireplace. Like if you were to do it, say our mantelpiece here, to do it kind of along the wall going up, but obviously because our walls are black in here, I think it looks better in the kitchen above the mirror. I've got these, which I saved from last year from Ginger Ale. I got them from Home Sense, and they're these Halloween wire pumpkin decorations that you literally just make. Decorating your pumpkin super simple and easy by just sticking these in them. So simple. If we're gonna do pumpkin carving, then I would save the carving until literally the day before Halloween. So for now, we'll pop those in the pumpkins on the porch. I also got these which can go in a bowl, maybe in the wooden bo dough bowl that I've got in the kitchen. We'll see where I end up popping those. I actually got some bigger versions of those that I had last year again from Home Sense. I also have this pumpkin garland, which I'm thinking about popping. I don't know whether to pop this one or the spooky one on the mantelpiece, we'll see. I didn't realize this was in here with the candle from Bath and Body Works. We've also got marshmallow pumpkin latte. I forgot to get this out this year. We've got a little dog bandana, which I don't know why it's still folded up and saved on that, but I had this on Barney last year. There's one of his, his uh, a piece of his fur from last year. <laughs> a little doggy bandana which I will keep out by the front door so that I remember to pop it on him for Halloween but this is from Pet Hamper a lovely online shop that sells cat products dog products I think they've got stuff for rabbits on there as well but that you can uh, get some nice aesthetic bits to make up your own hamper pet hamper or just buy individual items like this I don't know if they'll have these left but 
it's just like the perfect Halloween bandana. He's looking at me like, don't put that on me. <laughs> I like being naked, okay? He doesn't even have a collar on in the house. He is, he likes to be free, which I feel ya. It's like getting home at the end of the day and whipping your bra off, there's just no better feeling. Um, okay, so I feel like we could get started. We have the electrician here ready to do the first fix for the outdoor kitchen which is very exciting hopefully that should be done soon we just these things just take time delay after delay and i thought we would have had it done a long time ago but it is what it is anyway let's get going oh before i do get popping these bits out i had this uh down here as well which i'm going to take upstairs but I did want to show it to you. It was kindly sent to me by um, this beautiful jewellery company called Joma Jewellery. I've, I know their brand, I've seen them before, but in case you haven't, they do these advent calendars and this year they're doing them personalised. So this one, as you can tell, it has FF on the front there, but kind of like a leathery type case they're personalized with gemstones as well for like your birth month so i think they've said boxes one and 12 are personalized spoiler i am just going to quickly whiz through and show you what's in these so if you don't want to see then skip ahead hey barney this is for you look wow this is really stuck on here Sorry for any doggos out there or future me editing. <gasps> Is that for you? Oh my goodness. He's gone to cuddle him. Loves like holding on to suck, like cuddly toys like that and just sucking them. Show daddy a new toy. Oh, we're gonna have a constant squeak there. So let me show you box number one. This one is, oh, cute. A little always sparkle Freya. Cute little bracelet. We, we always use real silver and gold. Okay. Okay. We always use real, we always use real silver and gold plating. I'm going to show you the other personalised one. So the door numbers 1 and 12. Let's see number 12. Should we just go in order? Box number 2. Cute little earrings in box number 2. Do you know what this would be good for as well? If you've got some like girlfriends to be buying for or nieces or whoever in your life that likes jewellery. To get this and like pick out your faves and then use others as well as little stocking fillers or what I might do this year is DIY Christmas crackers and for all the ladies that might like some of these bits these could go within the crackers how nice especially like the smaller ones or obviously you don't have to shop the advent you could just shop Joma jewelry in general for getting smaller pieces like this and popping it within like a little table gift bag I like that that ring's adjustable as well. Behind number four, we've got some little hoops. Really, really pretty. I'm loving that there's some more silvery bits in here because I'm starting to want to, to wear some more silver bits and mix metals with gold as well. Oh, very simple and pretty, that, that one. Behind box number five, season to sparkle. Bracelet as well. It's like a double banded bracelet. I love that. Really pretty. Seven. Oh, I like these. They're like a huggy style small hoop, but quite chunky as well. Eight. I think we've got another necklace. Almost twisted chain with a double heart on. Behind number nine. Another small box from some earrings. Yeah. Star studs. They're like a little double star. Another ring. And yet again, yeah, they've been really clever with that because yet again it's another adjustable ring which like i said just it just makes makes sense oh i really like that one actually like how chunky it is 11 the bracelet with some stars and even the bracelets are adjustable as well and then finally the other personalized element to this advent calendar with my birthstone which is january so i think january is garnet um, but it just says 
with love this Christmas Freya. So again, it could be a good gifting opportunity to get this advent calendar for someone else. And then you've got a lovely jewelry box to keep as well for afterwards. Gary the ghost, you can sit there I reckon. Cute. Can you see it underneath? You basically, we were in the, we were going to pets at home. It's not oozing. I don't think it's, it doesn't look infected or anything. It looks like it'll heal quite well. Are you looking at your cut? Yeah, he basically. We can come in for a cuddle. <laughs> we were at pets at home and there was like a little grass verge that I thought I'll just jump over this wooden thing that's like to my knee height. Jump over that, let him go for a win, and then jump back over it to go to into the shop. So as we jumped over, he went for a way, and then as he jumped back from the grass bit over the wooden thing onto the the car park, as he jumped back over, he missed his footing, didn't realise there was a curb there, and like tripped over his feet and fully face planted the tarmac. And it just completely grazed his lip. He was like, oh, after he did it. I mean, luckily, pets at home have the vets. So as we went in, I said, it's just, he's just like, he was like bleeding. And she was like, no, that doesn't, that won't need a vet's trip, we don't think. So she just we get, got some blue roll and just dabbed it till it stopped bleeding. Because that was, that was my main concern as well. was like, well, not my main concern, obviously he's my concern, but going around I was like even if I can just get some tissue or something so it's just not just dripping blood all over your floor that wouldn't be nice it's not deep though it's just a surface cut I think oh you smell good we gave you a bath as well didn't we we used a shampoo that I got I think it was in my pet gift guide last year or was it the year before it must have been last year and it smells so good it's what perfume what perfume what shampoo is it i think it's from i'll try and leave it linked below but i think it's from the norfolk company or the norfolk dog company or something all right i'm gonna have to go wash my hands now the norfolk oh i need to remember where's my phone what do we do with that internet these days, hey? Oh, I'm quite enjoying this cuddle. The um, the heating's on on the floor. So it's like a little cosy blanket. All right. Giving you a cuddle. Ooh, FedEx of text as well. Your parcel is out for delivery today. I think I know what that might be. Uh, what was I doing? The Norfolk, mm, what was it called? I'd get the bottle to show you, but we finished it all. And now I want to repurchase it and I can't remember the name of it. Norfolk Natural Living. I think that was it. Let's have a look. Oh, they do an advent calendar. Candle, sorry. Actually a really nice company. Norfolk Natural Living, guys. Have a look if you haven't already come across it. Cleaning and pet. Pet care. So they do all sorts of stuff. It's not just for pets. Yeah, that was it. The dog shampoo so good they do actually full starter kits i should probably have got another one for my pet gift guide this year but it's probably too late now because i need to film that this week they do pet bed fresheners pet uh, dog paw cleansers dog cologne but yeah it smells insane really really good i know i can't stop sniffing you because you smell so nice kind of like um Almost like a men's fragrance. <laughs> and he's gone. Dogs are just the best. The best. Well, animals in general, but I'm a sucker for a dog. I'm a dog lover. So I don't think Tom would let me get a cat. As much as I like animals. Maybe if we lived on a farm, we could get a, an outdoor cat. 
Right, shall we do, let's do the wreath next on the front door. I'm gonna show you what I mean by this swag on the front door. Can you see how low it comes here and the door pull is there? And it just, it's getting in the way. So that's what I mean by that. Let's see how this fits instead. Yeah, that's better. At least we can reach the door pull now. Perfect. I think actually over time in storage, we might have misplaced one of these little gourds. It might have come off here, I think. That's what it looks like. There might have been another one. Uh, but we still have the three pumpkins and the little berries. If I just stand back and show you, we've got these little pumpkins from the pumpkin patch. Actually need to give them a brush off first and then we can pop our little kind of like wire decorations in here. I've just had a bit of a second thought as well, popping these out where these could come in quite handy. These tiny little baby ghosts is if ever you were hosting and having a bit of a Halloween or kind of autumn get together, these could sit on your napkin, sort of like as a placeholder. You could even pop your name on the, like as a little tag here. Because there's so many of them, I thought that'd be worth noting so that if you also have these, I managed to find these this year from HomeSense, that maybe, yeah, that's a cute little idea as well. For now, I've just popped my little ghost family, <laughs> little large ghost family within this this um, like double wooden bowl that I've just got here on my console table by the sofa. The other day, um, it's empty, but I just wanted to show you. The M&S have these, what they called Cackle and Pop Halloween mini bites. We had all intention of saving these for close to Halloween, but they're all gone. And they were delicious, but I would, yeah, recommend. They've got like kind of popping candy in, so they're, they're definitely kind of Halloween-y themed, I would say, but for now, we are going to replenish the sweet section with this, which is from, I got it from the farm shop. It's the, from the Bottled Baking Company. They do a lot of these kind of things like all year round and at Christmas as well, but they've got a Halloween one as well this year. So it says it makes 22 cookies, but I'm thinking of doing chunkier cookies. So we'll see how many I actually get. They are chocolate orange flavored and the benefit of this is that everything comes in one jar. So, very, very simple. What you will need, one large egg, melted butter, zest and juice from an orange. I need to go and get an orange. Preheat oven, 280 degrees. Lay greaseproof paper on baking trays, add all of your ingredients to a bowl, mix until a dough is formed, chill in the fridge for 20 minutes, divide into 20 to 22 balls, place these evenly spaced on your trays, bake for 14 to 16 minutes, remove from oven, cool and eat. Might skip that cool stage at the end, but yeah, this is what we've got to make. Want them really orange flavoured or not? Are you making um, sausage, 
Oh yeah, we're having homemade soup. We're gonna make tomato soup. Tomato and garlic? Tomato, chili and garlic. Tomato, chili and garlic soup we're gonna make, well Tom's gonna make, and um, some cheese toasties. We got some sourdough, didn't we? Um, I'm thinking maybe leave out the orange flavor. I'm all right with them just being cookie flavored chocolate chip and Halloween-y sparkles without the need for orange, so. Let's crack on. Oh, they already have a bit of an orange smell to them. So yeah, we'll just leave out there. The, oh, it says juice of an orange though. Yeah, that's bound to be just for flavor. If not, we can add a bit of water. Okay, let's get baking. Okay, melted butter, one large egg. These scales, I think I've shown you them before from Joseph Joseph. I'll leave them linked. They are perfect for the scale that doesn't take up any room in your drawer, honestly. Perfect, you can just sear them off. 120 grams. I'm useless at judging, okay. Let me just whisk the egg first, because I feel like that need a bit more than just a wooden spoon. Extra. <laughs> this is so fun. Get those ones out. Looks like Oats. Wow, porridge oats in a cookie. Looks like oats, the sprinkles. There we go. And then flour. I've got one of these for Barney's, um, like a, a dog cake, which I'm going to do for Barney's birthday this year. I'm going to make a cake for him and maybe take it into his doggy daycare with all of his friends because they always do a bit of a party when it's their birthday. <laughs> but that's not until, that's not until November. Right, well, I'm going to have to get a chopstick out because we can't get that bit broken up. There we go. Probably would have added some extra like large chunks of maybe dairy milk or something. Uh, do I have any chocolate? I don't think I do. Not making 22 cookies. Not the size I like them. And then we'll leave this in the fridge. It says for 20 minutes before we need to make it into little cookies. Seems like for They are now baking for about 14 to 16 minutes, although I have made them a bit bigger. So I'm thinking, recipe said 20 to 22 Oops. cookies. I've done 11, so I've literally, what should be half the size probably, I've doubled it basically. Because um, we like a chunky cookie. As soon as they're done, Tom's going to, well he's gonna start prepping now the soup and um and then as soon as the cookies are out of the oven he'll pop the pop the veg in We're basically just going to roast the veg once they've roasted down we'll just blitz them up into a soup and then make the toasty when we're ready to ready to have it later basically so that's the plan considering they only take 14 15 minutes by the time tom's done all the veg They'll be ready to uh, they'll be ready to come out anyway. So whilst he's doing that and whilst the cookies are baking, this smells amazing by the way. This is my I think my is it my favourite ever work surface cleaner? I got this one from Donnell, Lemon Verbena. It does smell amazing. I do still like the Dalesford one, the rosemary, but this is just this is really good. 
whilst that's doing its thing, I think I might just have 15 minutes at my jigsaw puzzle, which I've been doing. I've also got about two thirds of the way through this book that I was reading. I'll show you that, which one I mean. Very seasonal. <laughs> Very seasonal books. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe and the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. She's got a couple of others as well. She's got a Christmas one. These are linked on my Amazon storefront. But this is like the cute little town that it's based on, Dream Harbour. Pumpkin Spice Cafe, Gingerbread Bakery, Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. So who knows, she might come out with more, but it's a bit of a like a love story, wholesome read. And yeah, I've literally got that left. So, I think one or two more sittings of that and it'll be done. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. Um, but it gets a little spicy. It does get a little spicy, more so than I thought it would. I thought it was just gonna be a very wholesome, like cute autumn read, which it kind of is. But yeah, it does get a little, little, little spicy. Anyway, let's have a crack at this jigsaw because I really want to get it done ahead of the Christmas season, and I'm making slow progress with this. A lot slower than the Lego. Autumn Equinox, most jigsaws usually a landscape, which is good, but this one's um, obviously portrait, which has made it good so that if two people want to do it, you can kind of sit either side of the table. Um, but yeah, I want to get onto a Christmassy one once that one's finished once we're into November. So I'm gonna crack on with this. I also will leave that linked. This exact, uh, puzzle table is not available anymore, but very very similar and the same sellers They do them slightly differently where by these these side panels here for the puzzle pieces the two side panels They're drawers that pull out instead and then these have legs on them as well So you can lift them off the dining table and just have them kind of freestanding here and you can Fold these away. You basically have these sheets. It's honestly genius for for any kind of like puzzles out there The whole reason why I don't do puzzles is because the faff of having it out on a dining table But you literally just put the cover on Once that's under underneath it and then you can pop it away like that And then literally that will just once that sides folded over as well It helps keep the puzzle in place and you just slide that under your sofa or pop it in another room. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Got the little clasps underneath to keep that sturdy whilst we've got it out. So yeah, I will leave this link below as well. Again, a good maybe gift idea for someone else that likes doing their little jigsaw puzzles and having it out. And it's just nice when, especially if like you're hosting for Christmas and stuff as well, to have out a puzzle for people to just go to and from. But then, like I said, whilst you're dining, whilst you're eating, you want to set up the dining table, you just move that away or pop it in another room or something. Okay, let's crack on. It's been so long, and long but I'm finally coming home. Till then, I'm dreaming. Your heart, your eyes are love. Darling, I can't wait till I see your face. Oh, God, I So we made, oh, there's someone at the door. Are you gonna go fetch the mail, Barney? There were three chilies. Would you have, in hindsight, now that you've added this, still added three or maybe two? Two, maybe. Two, it was a bit of a kick, but we've added some kefir. <laughs> He's getting the vibes. 
So it's like and healthier it's, than cream. It's kind of like makes it creamy, but it's heavier. Mm. Good boy, thank you very much. We've got a parcel from Amazon. This is the meal for you. Roger, the gift guy. Yeah, well, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our um, dinner and what James Bond marathon tonight. We're on. The last two to Spectre and North Yes, yeah, Skyfall Spectre. Skyfall Spectre. <coughs> New yeah. Time to Die, is it called? Yeah. We listened to the music, didn't we? And we decided that as much as I love Billie Eilish, Sam Smith. Spectre song. What's it called? Um, no. Oh. It's good You've got Adele as well, though. I prefer the Billy Irish one to Adele. Oh, we've got cookies uh. for this up. I'll show you those as well. Maybe a little taste test to them. I told you, how did you fill that bowl up with that sweet? Yeah, we're just, we're, I was like, yeah, I'll have my portion in this. Nice little pumpkin mug, you know, aesthetics for the vlog and all. And then. Um, You've got Asta's own. Um, I want to take a little photo there and share it on my share the on my Instagram. But I this is like a soup bowl. It comes with a lid. It, I got it from HomeSense, and this was definitely two portions. Is it massive? Although you did fairly fine. Yeah. yeah. But especially when you got. <coughs> Correct. No, it's fine. Especially when you've got a full cheese toastie with it. If you were just having a soup. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's a, it's a decent idea. Mm. It adds a different flavour to it because it's like a sour yogurt. Mm. I really like the flavour of kefir. Mm. kefir. I like cow and chicken. Mm? I like cow and chicken headless. Cheers. Let's have a little break. See, I think these have been in too long. Mm. They used pro uh, oats. So it feels like it's a little bit healthier. Not healthier, but less cookie dough, yeah. isn't it? I yeah, I think the only difference I would say is for me, I would have added extra chocolate chunks myself. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Just have that extra bit of like dairy milk chunk, you know? Mmm. Mmm. That's the only thing I would change. Which I did say, didn't I? But yeah, nice. Your heart, your eyes, our love.